Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Will. So as the title says, this video is about the HTC One X10. So I don't know if this device will be coming to the US or not. I haven't heard anything about like LTE bands or anything like that, but it's definitely picking up a lot of steam. Um, there are so many official leaks on this phone, it's crazy. When I say official, that means people have gotten a hold of their banners or the, you know, the product information that they're going to put out when they actually start to announce the device. So, from what I've seen on most of the leaks, it's about being a beautiful device with a huge battery. And that's something that most people probably would like, you know, especially the big battery. Who wouldn't want a beautiful phone with a big battery that performs well? Speaking of performance, so I'm just reading off the, re off the web here. Uh, so it's supposed to have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. That's going to be impressive, uh, to say the least, coupled with a Helio P10. Now, the Helio P10 is a processor that's not new, so I doubt that this phone will be... It's not the latest iteration of it either, because the P20 is out. And there's also, there's also the X20 as well. X25, I think it is, something like that. Uh, but the P series, you know, the P10 is one of the older models of the of the uh, processors, and it's a tried and true processor. I think there's one actually in the Sony Xperia XA Ultra, and that phone has a 2700 milliamp hour battery, and I can easily walk down five hours of screen on time, and it has a six inch 1080p display. So, having such a package like this with a 5.5 inch 1080p display, coupled with the Helio P10 and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. I think HTC might be doing something on, on the right path here. I've kind of gotten away from, uh, you know, knocking down the, the Helio processors. Most of them do not perform well in my experience for my needs. Uh, but the, the Helio P10 has actually been pretty solid. Uh, so, also on board, some of the leaks rumors here is a fingerprint reader. Obviously, it's, it's on the back if you've seen some of the leaks. And then you also have 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs on board. That right there alone says this phone it bumps it up the list for me because who wouldn't want 32 gigs on board storage that's just a, a given at this point it should be an industry standard and phones that are coming out without at least that amount shame on you uh, and also uh, as far as cameras go I'm really hoping that the cameras are on point because the back is supposed to be a 16 megapixel and the front is a 8 megapixel so this is going to compete well with phones like the uh, Moto G5 Plus that I'm recording with or some of my other phones that I have in that price range to play V8. This is going to be some, some a phone that, that should do very, very well. I'm really hoping that it does. Um, now, I don't know, again, like I said, I don't, I don't know if I said that, but I don't, think it's come, I don't know if it's going to come to the U.S., but they're basically touting a, a beautiful device with two days of battery. Everybody says two days of battery, but, you know, not very many phones can actually do that, even with a big battery. So if you haven't seen this phone before, think of the Axon 7 on the rear, pretty much. And then think of something like the OnePlus, or one of the older HTC devices, like the M8. Uh, kinda. And then there's two different colors. There's this black, and there's this silver. And, um, you know, it, it, might be something that, it might be something good. So is this something that you'd be interested in? I've seen some rumored pricing of $300 or less. Uh, but, you know, is it worth $300 or less? We don't know. Uh, would you pick it up for two forty nine? I think a lot of people would. I think a lot of people would pick it up for for two ninety nine because that package there is a popular package. Now, if it would have had the six twenty five Snapdragon in there, that that would be even better. But the Helio P ten is an efficient uh, processor for battery, in my experience. So, uh, what do you guys think about the HTC rumored uh, HTC One X ten? I've been hearing a lot about this, so I want to hear what you guys think. It's your man J Will. I definitely hope to see you in the comments section. Is this something that you're interested in? Is it a phone that you would consider picking up? Let's talk about it. Take care.